Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. There's a chap in Germany who is under investigation by the police because he has had himself vaccinated against COVID over 90 times. Apparently, this chap wanted to create fake uh, COVID certificates that would enable people at one time to uh, get services in certain shops and stuff like that that wouldn't be possible without a COVID pass. And he wanted to use genuine batch numbers on his forgeries. Uh, so he got himself vaccinated over 90 times so he would get those batch numbers that he could then put on his fake certificates. He got caught out in the end because he went to the same vaccine centre two days running and one of the staff on there recognised him. Now, it seems like it doesn't matter what safeguards people put in place to prevent fraud. There are people who will always try to find a way uh, to beat the system. There are people who will always try to find a way to turn everything to their advantage so they can cheat, so they can steal, so they can do whatever. In this guy's case, it didn't work very well. He's now been investigated by the police and... Uh, I don't know if it's done his body any good to have 90 vaccine doses inside it in a short space of time. Uh, he probably thought he was being clever, but I think he was actually being rather stupid. And yet people do show great ingenuity in finding their way around safeguards that are given to us. Uh, I see this with the Bible all the time. I see the Bible tells us to do certain things, tells us not to do certain things, but there's no shortage of people who will try to find a way around that, who will try to explain away a scripture verse so that they don't have to do what God wants us to do. The, the problem is, of course, God is never fooled and God is not mocked. And that's why when it comes to the Word of God, we need to approach the Word of God with sincerity of heart. One of the greatest problems is that people often approach the Word of God trying to find justification for their actions, trying to find an excuse for them to do something that they know they shouldn't really be doing, or sometimes they just approach the Word of God to try to prove that they're right or that their church's beliefs are right or whatever else. But that's not how God wants us to approach his word. If we really believe that the Bible is the word of God, then we should approach his word with an attitude of holy submission, of saying, God, I want to submit myself to you and I want to submit myself to your word. And I would ask that the Holy Spirit who inspired the writing of the word would inspire me to read the word and understand the word and interpret the word and act upon the word. And, you know, when we approach God's word like that, it can be uncomfortable, uncomfortable at times. God challenges us. God causes us to sort of fix stuff in our lives that needs to be fixed. But that's good because that's one of the purposes of the word of God. And when we submit to God's leading and God applying scripture into our lives, then not only does it make sure that we we avoid doing things that we shouldn't be doing, but it also takes us into a path of obedience and a path of joy and a path of fulfillment. Because this idea of wanting to find a way around God's word and somehow evade what it's clearly telling us to do, that is indeed a foolish game to play. Because God loves us and God wants the very best for us. And if sometimes we don't understand why the word says what it does, uh, and sometimes we want something different, that's not because God's word is bad. It, it's because we don't actually know ourselves well enough and know what lies ahead of us well enough to fully embrace joyfully that which God has for us. If you knew everything that God knew about you, and if you knew everything that God knows about your future and what's coming up in your future, you would instantly agree with the will of God in every single instance, even in those times when it is challenging. So I would encourage you today to read God's word, read it with an open heart, not trying to prove a point, not trying to prove somebody else wrong or prove yourself right, but read the word of God and say, Holy Spirit, would you please speak into my heart today? And you might just be amazed at some of the things God will show you and do within you. 
God bless you today and join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.